it is multiverse. Well, the rumours are true. Well, actually, no, they're not, because this one completely blew my mind. We're getting a Wonder Woman game. Yes. At the Game Awards last night, which I did a full live stream for, we got the announcement of a proper official Wonder Woman game. I can't believe it. I'm really excited. Okay, hear my full reactions from the stream last night, edited nicely in there, along with a few other people, including Taladia Pais from my Inside the Multiverse podcast. Let's go check out the trailer for Wonder Woman and my live reactions to it from the Game Awards. Go. Next, in the days leading into the Game Awards, I read the internet with a little bit of fear, wondering if some of tonight's big surprises You leaked leak. them! This one sure didn't. It's okay. time for a new game announcement. Probably to the audience. No one had on their bingo card. Enjoy. He leaked them, though. He leaked Busters. Sonic. Yeah. Warner Brothers. What? Is it? My daughter. What? Oh, yeah, Spider-Man. Woo! What? You must call you home. What? Restore. What no! More than that! Old enemies. Forge. My voice is asleep next door, I can't <laughs> yell too hard. It has a huge lapel pin, but no cufflinks. Oh can my yes, god. It's a. It's. You it's can Gwen. Monolith making a Wonder Woman game. You are Wonder Woman. Oh, yes! <laughs> okay, there you go. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. For both of those things. Man. I love Monolith. They're the actors who portrayed Ellie thought. and Abby in The Last of Us Part 2. Wow. Please welcome Ashley Wow, Johnson that was crazy. Yes, wasn't that amazing. I was completely blown away that, especially right at the beginning of the Game Awards. Uh, I was hoping for a Superman game, the next game from WB Montreal. For, I, was, I was hoping for Gotham Knights to be there and it wasn't. But I kind of suspected that Monolith's next game, which we haven't heard anything from, was going to be there. But that Monolith are doing a Wonder Woman game? Monolith are one of my favourite developers, right back from the days when they made Blood. <laughs> they made first-person shooters all the time, and they made some of my favourite first-person shooters. Blood is an all-time classic in the Doom, Duke Nukem style. Then they also done Fear, Condemned, No One Lives Forever, Aliens vs Predator 2, so many good games, and then, of course, more recent years, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, and Shadow of War, which this one is going to be more like. Imagine Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, with Wonder Woman on Themyscira. That's exactly what we're getting. <laughs> I'm guessing that the forces of Ares or Hades have invaded Themyscira and Wonder Woman has to rally the Amazons to come and take care of the invading armies on Themyscira. That's what I'm imagining the game's going to be like. I'm going to have a full video sort of breaking down this trailer and how it relates to the gameplay very soon because I'm very excited for this. I could not be happier with this announcement. I did not seriously believe that Warner Brothers were going to be cool enough to bring in Monolith on a DC game. It's perfect. As soon as they create the Nemesis system, which is a perfect superhero game mechanic, everyone wanted them on a DC game. <laughs> uh, but actually, Warner Brothers, as we know, do not always do the things that we want them to or what we expect them to. In this case, perfect. Yeah, we have hoped for a Wonder Woman game. I kind of hoped for Superman, but at the same time, I kind of wanted a Wonder Woman game more. Um, I'm I'm really excited by the prospect of Superman, but a Wonder Woman game. Uh, other than other than DC Superhero Girls, perhaps, which is a team game anyway, and a little bit more twee. This is the first, I believe, ever video game. Solo, uh, with a solo superhero that's a female comic book character. Like, the first major female comic book character to get a solo superhero game. I do believe. Um, unless someone wants to correct me with a crappy Electra game or something like that. 
Uh, I don't believe there was one. There wasn't even a crappy Daredevil game. But yeah, we've had Spider-Man, we've had Batman, we've had Superman. <laughs> Throughout the years we've had uh, plenty of female-led games and plenty of superhero team games with female characters in them. But I don't believe I've, I've had a single one based around a female comic book character. And how appropriate that is Wonder Woman. Who's a perfect video game character? She's not invincible, and I've, I've, I've got flack for that. I'm not calling Superman invincible here. But she, uh, off, she needs to block a lot of the time. That's of such a video game thing. She can fight with a sword and shield as well as the lasso. She's, and like, punching... She can basically fly, or, or can fly, depending on who talks to you. She's got a, a, a jet. <laughs> and, yeah, Themyscira commanding the Amazons. Brilliant. I am so hyped for this. This is, this is now shot up and become my most wanted game. I'm going to be brutally honest, over Suicide Squad and Gotham Knights. Because this is what I, want. I wanted to play as a member of the Justice League. I wanted to play as one of DC's main heroes. And someone who's not Batman, preferably. I would have... Far been fine, shrug, another Batman Arkham game, but I wanted another DC hero from a decent developer, and I've got exactly that. Not only that, but from one of my favourite developers, I'm making a Wonder Woman game. I could not be happier. And yeah, that's that's all I have to say for it. Um, I'm, I'm, I am going to have another video on the, how this video sort of gives us hints about the gameplay and, and what we know about it. So yeah, be prepared for that. Uh, I'll put the live stream up and myself and Teladio Plays are going to be discussing this and Suicide Squad and other things on the Inside the Multiverse podcast. I'll provide a link to that in the community section of uh, my YouTube channel. Otherwise, it's uh, inside the multiverse uh, DC Comics podcast on YouTube or I'll, I'll tweet it out definitely inside the MV I believe is the, the Twitter handle but yeah so be prepared to check that out for my further thoughts on this and Suicide Squad and yes I will have the reaction to Suicide Squad coming up today as well alongside this thanks for watching folks what did you think about this leave me know in the comments below or on the inside the multiverse discord server which you'll find a link to in the description below please like share and subscribe that all really helps me out and check out other videos on dc comics gamer like i said suicide squad gameplay trailer reaction coming up very soon <laughs> but i also have like a few videos on wonder woman including me basically ranting about why there isn't a wonder woman animated series or why isn't there more dc games there we go vindication yeah Thanks for watching, folks. For now, Multiverse, out.